Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I would like to talk about my goals for the year, my coloring goals of course, and um, some channel updates or plans for the channel. And I really like to watch these type of videos so I hope you do too. And if so stay tuned and uh, let's get started. So, and my first goal, of course, as every year, is finishing whips, reduce my whips, my work in progresses. And um, this is one page that I'm currently working on. This page is already, uh, a f I started it a few years ago in 2019. And um, yeah, at the moment I'm working on this one. And I will leave this page here so that you have something to look at. So, and uh, just recently I brought out a video in which I showed you all the uh, whips that I have at the beginning of 2022 and I counted actually 87. Uh, so if you wonder uh, why 87, in fact I forgot to show you too, um, that I just remembered afterwards, but uh, yeah, however, I really want to try to reduce this number this year. So that means I want to try to finish as many of them as possible, as I'm still very into them actually, um, in most of them at least. And on the other side I just want to try to not start as many new pages and then just leave them behind. But that might be a little bit tricky because uh, you all know how much I love to start new pages and then skip to another one. <laughs> That's just me. So. We will see, but at the moment I'm very, um, I'm very motivated actually to work on my uh, started pages and to finish them. So I think a whole January I actually only worked on um, started pages and trying to finish them. I also brought out a, an update on this last week. So if you've missed it, check it out. You can see the um, progress on the pages that I made. And it wore a little bit at least. <laughs> Not as much as maybe some of you might be able to do, but you know, I only call on the weekend, so not that much time to invest in that. Um, yeah, however, I really want to try to finish at least all the started pages from this book. This is also one of my 10 books to finish. And, um, and I'm doing very good on this at the moment, I think. And uh, this also goes hand in hand with my second goal, actually, and that is... So my second goal for this year is actually to focus on my tan books to finish eventually, uh, which I have also introduced to you in a separate video. So um, I will link it somewhere in the corner or in the info box below as usual. So this is actually a list of those 10 books. Last year I found out that some books I really like to work in while in others I didn't touch them at all. So I adjusted the list and I think I'm pretty happy with this list now. And uh, again, especially right now I'm very motivated actually on working on this goal and I'm trying to uh, finish all the started pages that I have in all these books here so that at least that is done. My third goal is don't buy as many books, at least um, Amazon printed books. So I want to try to get a pick here in the choice of my books. Um, yeah, and I just want to buy less and concentrate more on the books that I already own um, because actually for me it is stress to have all these books and not call in them. So uh, for me uh, it, is, it is more enjoyable to actually concentrate on a smaller range of books. So uh, my target is when I buy new books I really want to start them right away. So I don't want to buy books 
that I don't feel like tackling now or that I want to color in that moment that I'm buying them that I buy for later you know <laughs> to color in a later time no no I just want to buy books when I really want to start them at this point and if not I put them to my wish list and then we will see um, of course there are always books that I would get like the Teresa Goodrich ones or some series um, that I enjoy so but what I really want to try to buy less especially Amazon printed books with a sheep paper So and that brings me actually to my next goal and that is from my stash of books that I own um, and PDF pages by the way. I always forget about my PDF pages but um, yeah I really love to color PDFs and I have so many so I don't want to forget them. I want to focus on PDFs this year as well a little bit. Um, yeah but I really want to focus on a um, range of artists and books. And I don't mean my 10 books here, so this is additional to those 10 books that I want to finish eventually. But I'm speaking here of uh, other books and artists that I also love, adore, I adore them, but I call away to less in them. So for example, and that's why this book is lying here, The Most God by David Peterson, I absolutely adore this book. And last year at least I managed to color my first image in this book, this one, but I want to do a lot more in it. Um, and that means I want to at least add another image to this book, for example. And I don't know if it is already up yet or not. Um, if not, then it might come up next week. I also filmed or want to film you know, a list of 10 books, artists, books or artists, um, that I either want to start in 2022 or that I want to color more from in this year. And um, yeah, this is another um, um, list and I hope it's, it's manageable for me uh, that I want to focus on beside of my 10 books to finish. So then I have a, a specific goal this year. Um, I own quite a few books of Hannah Carlson and um, all of you know that I love to color portraits and people but I never colored actually a Hannah Carlson face so far and um, that is actually one of my, my goals this year. I really want to tackle one of her faces and this is just an example uh, of one of her beautiful faces that I could color. And I just want to see and try out, um, yeah, how I would do um, on a Hannah Carlson face, actually. I mean, I love to color portraits. I really should tackle one of her faces, I think. And I, as I said, I have quite a few of her books that need more love anyway. So, Color a Face by Hannah Carlson is one of my goals this year. Then, as we are talking about um, portraits and people, I also want to color more different skin colors this year. So, I want to practice actually more, yeah, just uh, some diversity in my skin coloring. Uh, with the Prismas, for example, also with other pencil brands, but especially with the Prismas, I think that I want to um, try out, because I always use the same colors for creating skin but I want to do another darker skin this year I want to do maybe a more tan um, skin and this book is actually <laughs> the reason why it's lying here this book contains quite a few very suitable pages for doing that for example this Egyptian lady here she is so beautiful and I would love to color her and oh there was another very suitable one this one for just trying to do another darker skin maybe and uh, yes so this is one of my goals this year mm -hmm. 
so then my next goal is actually that I want to use the ink tents a lot more this year. I started to use them uh, last year and I absolutely I absolutely enjoyed this process. I love the vibrancy of those um, colors and what I also like that uh, the coloring process is a little bit faster but the, uh, the result is still um, awesome and the way that I like it, like really yeah, vibrant, I like colorful pages and uh, you know, so I just want to use those babies more, a lot more this year and I want to try them in books like uh, the Mythographic, uh, you know, in these type of books in which we have actually, yeah, more like scenery pages, um, so not on um, portraits of people, but on all the other stuff like um, the pages that we have in our mythographic books and the cute and creepy and the mouse guard. So, yeah, want to play a whole lot more with them this year. So then I have noticed actually that I haven't used watercolors for the last couple of years. Um, while in the beginning I, I still used them for backgrounds like on this page here. Like I like to use them on those any Guerrero pages actually. This one is also done with watercolors, with the Gansai Tambi watercolors I believe. Very beautiful um, watercolor brand, I think. Very um, bright and um, yeah, just a good color selection. A lot of fun to use them. But yeah, I just haven't used um, watercolors in the last couple of years. And I want to change this again and use them for creating backgrounds. So then another item that I would like to focus on this year a little bit more is the Distress Inks. Um, last year I found out how much I enjoy to work with them and um, yeah, uh, how good they are actually for creating backgrounds. And this is something that I want to dive into this year a little bit more. So I want to invest uh, in buying some more colors because I don't, I, I have a small selection so I can't do a whole lot with them at the moment. Uh, but I just want to invest in them and get some more colors. And um, yeah, what I love about them is that they blend together quite easily. I just want to show you an example. So on this page I use the Distress Inks and yeah, what I love about them, they blend very easily together. You can create a beautiful texture with water splashes and then you can use stencils and yeah, create even more interesting background with them. And what is actually best, <laughs> you can use them in your Create Space paper books. Very simple paper, there is no buckling at all. Smooth background without any buckle. So I uh, absolutely adore these for the books. And I have quite many Create Space paper books. So yeah, I just want to use them more to create new fun backgrounds. And then last but not least, uh, let's talk a little bit about um, channel plans. And um, So one thing is that I got asked recently um, to show more of how I color skin and hair and all that stuff that I love to color so much. So it's actually um, funny that there is not enough content for that on my channel, huh? <laughs> So, um, but that's definitely something that I want to concentrate on. And I started to work on a project. Uh, I want to find color combinations for skin with several different pencil brands, also with the sheep pencil brands. So this is actually just an example of um, a skin color combination with the Crayola Shade and Blend colored pencil. So you see that even with your sheep on pencils you can create a beautiful skin coloring so and uh, that I want to do with many more different pencil brands um, yeah just to show that it is actually possible 
And uh, now let me get this out of the way. <laughs> And I'm just laying down the image again that I'm currently working on so that you have something to look at. And we will close this video as we started it with the same page, so to speak. And um, however, to find all these color combinations with the different pencil brands is a project that takes me a lot of time. And I will try to put up one of those videos every now and then. But overall, it's very time consuming and if there's one thing that I don't have enough, then it is time, especially for my hobbies and, you know, the channel is just one of my hobbies, actually. So therefore, I was thinking about how I could fulfill this uh, wish of showing more um, skin videos. And uh, this year, of course, I also want to bring new color lungs for you. I thought at least two color lungs should be possible for me to create. But um, yeah, only two is not a whole lot to actually show you more of my skin coloring. So uh, I was thinking, how can I achieve this? And uh, the result of this was actually that I just need to turn on the camera when I'm actually coloring. So I just have to turn on the camera when I'm coloring on my own. That means that I won't show you how to color complete pages, but I will turn on the camera when I work on a part of, of a page. So if I continue a whip or if I start a new page, I will try to make sure that I um, especially turn on the camera when I'm working on yeah the skin or part of the hair, as this is actually the request to fulfill. Um, but I think that's the only way. And uh, I want to have these type of videos um, yeah, not so much uh, work for me, so to speak. So I won't prepare color cards or anything. I just turn on the camera. I will shout out the pencils that I'm using or the supplies that I'm using. And um, it might be that not every video is for everyone, but I hope this way uh, for everyone there will, there will be something eventually. So yeah, that's the plan. And then, of course, I also want to work on my background series uh, in which I present you all my favorite mediums that I use for creating my backgrounds and show you um, just on some examples um, yeah, how to create the background. And then I'm also working on my embellishments video at the moment. So uh, I want to show you all my favorite um, mediums for uh, finishing touches and how to apply them. And uh, yeah, of course, I also want to keep up with the completed pages video, so at least quarterly. And that means that I want to finish one page per weekend at least. Yeah, more is usually not um, manageable for me. <laughs> so one uh, page per week is actually quite good for me. And... Um, yeah, the uh, TBCs, so my coloring plans, my coloring bag, I thought I would also do on a quarterly basis because usually I stick to my bag, to my plans for quite a while because it takes me so long to, to touch them all. So I thought it's more realistic to just um, have one TBC video every quarter and... Um, yeah, and I think that's actually all for this video. So I hope that you enjoyed this video a whole lot and that I will see you in my next one. So take care everyone. Happy coloring. Bye.